Oh, we made it. Just look at this place. Last time on Sea of Stars. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another Sea of Stars video right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. The last episode, we went to the port town of Brisk and met up with this pirate crew so that we could get a boat ride, uh, but they tricked us and they beat Gaul at a arm wrestling competition. But we got to explore and we got so many items we have, uh, uh, we have now. Let's see. How many? We... Oh, we had a wonderful mini game introduced to us called wheels that i'm looking forward to playing way too much of and we have 12 rainbow conches at this point maybe find out a little bit more about our new pirate friends here <laughs> that's just like our captain to know when and where we'd stumble upon the perfect helpers for this quest huh interesting so that's voltride he's the guy that beat us in our arm he has a magic shirt nothing quite like a worthwhile quest to keep some spring in one's steps that's Keenathan. He has two eye patches. Because that's the only way that he can cast wind map. Dude, I don't know. And Yolanda. Remember to hit that save point from time to time, eh, kid? Be a shame if you beat something big and then had to do it all over again. Believe me. Oh, and their big thing is they break the fourth wall all the time. Yeah. What about Garl? The coin of on death accord can be found in the wizard lab north of Briss. Now that's a proper quest. And let's be on our guard when we bring the coin to Captain cliche oh yeah and the captain's name is cliche you'll you'll love that want to hear a story uh i think we've already heard yeah we only have the two stories from her and we've actually already heard those so why don't we go ahead and wrap this up here and we can head to the only place we actually already went here and got as much as we could from lavish lake so we're going to head to the next destination which is the abandoned wizard's lab where we need to find the coin of on death for Captain Cliche and her crew. So let's see what we can do. I have found the door, but it seems I will only be able to lift it a few inches. Valtrid. On your mark, pal. Whoa. Oh, he's got this. Look at him. Commence. Oh. So hot. So muscly. Oh, yeah. Yolanda, hurry. No sweat, big guy. Demolition is my middle name. So is lookout. So is... Uh, anyways... Uh oh, oh no. Oh, he's got it. They got it. Just pulls out a thing of tea. That is so cool. Aha! That's what you get, you old ruin. Um. That's one way to do it. A job well done, mateys. Better let the captain know our part of the mission was a success. Zale's crew might need a few pointers in there, so I'll remain with them for now. Sure, can't hurt to have a mage around. Uh, yeah. Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion, or my name is not Keenathan. Have it your way, then. Bye, coming, Valtrid. Aye, good luck in there. I love how he, they, he walks. He's like, uh-huh, I'm so cool. And he is. They're right. All right, so we get a new dungeon. If you played the demo, you know what this is all going to be about. Look at how cool this place is. Holy smokes. My, what an improbable place. And look at this device. Oh, I wonder what it does. Hmm, this is a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit? Yeah, why don't we? The abandoned wizard's lab. Looks like it should emit light, but it's inactive right now. The light is on, but it's missing a piece. Hmm. Guess we're gonna have to find one of those. Is there anything? Nope. Nothing we can go over there. I do see that chest, though, which we're gonna need. 
and we just so happen to get a nice little camp right here with Kenathan. Based on old scriptures, you should be able to mix the light from different crystals to open new paths. Quite fascinating. All right, Kenathan. Oh, my name is not Kenathan, so we'll go ahead and do our hand farts here so we can get up and grab our first crystal, I believe. Yup, we get a green crystal. Just like that. We already look at so easy. We're look at we're we're like we're like puzzle solver people. Nice. That will allow us access to Are we able to climb up here? We are. But that's it. Let's go into this green portal here. And we have new enemies! Don't let them hit! Oh yeah, we got it. Alright, we got arcane sentries here. Let's go ahead and beat them up. I wish they were a little bit closer to each other, but what are you going to do? Woohoo! That does some damage. Holy smokes. We're going to go ahead and boom, uh, Moonerang. Actually, Vale, why don't you go ahead and use that? Our first battle, and these are arcane sentries, and it looks like they are weak against physical attacks, which is good for us. Woohoo! Oh, okay, do not use magic against them, y'all. Wow. That does nothing. Let's go ahead and see if we can hurl this one. 23 damage to that. They do so much damage, dude. So much damage. Sunball probably isn't going to do much. So we'll go ahead and attack this one. That is the one that is going to attack soonish. We'll go ahead and hopefully... Oh, yeah. 30 damage from Valir there. Unbelievable. Nice. 30 damage out of Garl. 25 damage every single time they attack. That is that is a lot of damage. Go ahead and grab this boost. 28 damage. 360 XP and 6 gold. And we are about to level up already, my friends. Another level up. Stand on this rune. It looks like it moves a bunch of stuff. We can jump across to get back over there. Looks like there's something over there as well that we won't worry about. The rune is now not active, so I guess we have to go this way and around. Step on this rune. There we go. Ah, nice. So we'll have to jump around and go this side. Looks to be a fairly simple puzzle to start off with this room here. Step on this one yet again. And then we can climb all the way back up to grab that chest. And it looks like that is the only chest here. And it gives us a blue crystal. All right. That's the only thing we can do here. Doesn't look like there's any other items in the in the green the green room, if you will. Can't jump off any edges here. I'm curious why that's there though. Feels like there's a reason for it, but okay, I think that's all we can do in green. Let's go ahead and rest real quick because youch. And back to it. Doesn't look like we'll be able to. Looks like it should emit light, but it's inactive. So let's go ahead and grab this crystal, and we'll use the blue one here instead, which creates a blue room for us to go to. Oh, no. Does that mean someone took away our crystal? How dare. We're going to have to jump into one of these. This one looks like it goes that way, so why don't we do that? Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, so we have to do this one then. I knew that. I knew that. I just wanted. I just wanted to show you, dear viewer, how how that. You know, I got gotcha. <laughs> I love the background. It's so cool. Wanderers again, huh? Interesting that these guys are here. Compared to the arcane sentry, these are easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of this one. And then Garl will do a double boost here, which hopefully will allow us. Nice, one shot. 
only 20 XP from those. So yeah, definitely, definitely uh, a little bit weaker on the weaker side, those wanderers. Looks like we can't jump down there. But we can jump down here. Which will teleport us. I like that the arrows tell you the direction that you're going to go. So, you know, you can kind of, you can, you can figure it out. We got another arcane sentry. Don't let them attack you. That is what I'm hearing. They are weak to physical attacks, which is good for us. Able to take those two down. This one's going to swing and 17 damage. Double boost with Garl. I was hoping he'd be able to take this out himself. And we will level up on this one, friends. 278 XP. We are now level six, I believe, which means we get another bonus bonus stats to put in here. With our boy Zale, we're gonna continue the push here in magic attack. Give him an extra two there. We could give him the two on attack here because he's actually getting three in his magic attack, but nah. Make his magic attack uh, even better. And of course for Valir, we're gonna end up going with, uh, we're gonna do physical attack again. And Garl! Garl is going to choose. Darn, Garl. HP feels like not the worst idea for him. Mana points aren't terrible either because it allows him to have more frequent uses of nourish. Really, I think we're gonna continue for the first time ever. I'm gonna pick health for somebody. Which brings him to 85 health. We want Garl to be as self-sufficient of a tank as possible, right? So he's kind of our healer and our tank, which is which is cool. So if anybody gets knocked out, hopefully he has enough survivability to just wait for them to recover, right? That's my plan anyway, Stan. We're gonna be able to come over here. It looks like there's an enemy over there, uh, but we have to drop down here first. And this is, this is, uh, Based on the demo, anyways, this was our biggest, like, so far, this is going to be our biggest puzzle dungeon, with the most that we can f kind of experiment with, I guess is the, the best way to say that. I don't, I don't think I'd call any of these puzzles hard, but... All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and start off with a sunball here, hitting these three. Nice. Delete one of those. And we'll go ahead and use a regular attack on the Wanderer to get him out. Although it doesn't really matter, I suppose. We'll go ahead and get a boost here on Garl so that he can hit this pretty hard. Probably the Arcane Sentries are the priority target. Delete that so it doesn't attack us. 25 damage. Yeah, those are definitely the priority target. Heck yeah, Valir. She still does not have a weapon, by the way. A uh, weapon upgrade. I'm still using the Copper Staff. I haven't decided to buy her one yet because everybody else got one for free. Still kind of expecting her to as well. Head that way for sure. Bring us back here. We can get up here. This is where we fought the two wanderers. So now we can cross this bridge and flip a switch. Dope. And now we can use... Ah, I like that little chime for us. Thank you. Now we can use that, that other one that we started off with. So neat. Really, really cool. Go ahead and jump in this one, which will bring us over here. Perfect. And just like that, it actually, so it was kind of hard to tell, I guess, uh, but it turned on one of the lights on the statue there, the emitter, whatever you want to call it. 
now we can leave. I think we got everything from this room. Yes, so now we have this one. So we're gonna go ahead and mix green and blue. Perfect. How are we doing on health and stuff? I think we're okay. Might as well real quick hit a quick rest. Fun ways to die. Can you say anything else now? No, he's just gonna keep giving us the same hint. So let's go through this teal. Yeah. Aqua. And disappears yet again. Oh, come on. We can go into the water here if we so choose. Doesn't look like we can go anywhere, but I do see what looks like a rainbow conch. Number 13. Number 13 of the rainbow conches. That's, I feel like we're getting a lot of those, but hey, I'll take it. Give me all of them. We do want all of the ones, whoops. We, <laughs> you didn't see, I didn't do that. We of course do want all of those in the game. Why would we not? I'm not seeing anything here that we can. Let's go ahead and fart, hand fart. And fart. Flip this one first. I don't think it matters, but... Okay. Alright, like I said, we're definitely... Oh, we have a new enemy now. The Crystal Tulip that only has one health. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to focus on hitting this first. And then Valir is going to boost... How do y'all feel about showing off random encounters, by the way? Or, I guess they're not random encounters. We'll all be facing the same ones, but... Alir can take off that Arcane Sentry. So, I guess what we... Max boost! Nice, one shot. I wonder how we're supposed to kill those... Maybe you have to use an ability on them. That would, that would make sense. That would check out. We'll do this one next. Cool, free boost. We'll go ahead and sunball right in the middle of these. Even though it's not going to do as much damage to the arcane sentry, but we're not going to kill it in one turn anyways. But we are going to kill two of those! Beautiful! Over 5,000 XP still to get another level, so yeah, definitely don't recommend grinding for multiple reasons. All right, I think we're looking okay. MP's a little bit low, but we're okay. I think we can do probably another fight here. All right, let's focus on, because I think we could probably kill the two of these. Or we can kill this one before it's two goes off. And then, I doubt Garl will be able to one-shot. He was not, but you never know. Nice job. Those should get 216, so the Arcane Sentry is definitely giving the most XP right now. Woohoo. Oh, that is so cool. Yup, RPGs putting stuff behind waterfalls is the way. We got a red crystal now as well. Which means it's time to exit here. We got the rainbow conch that was in this room. We got the red crystal. I think that's probably everything we can get. Again, we're gonna use this opportunity to rest because these things do hit pretty hard. All right, and then let's take out Let's actually, how do we want to do this? Let's take out, we want to remove this crystal. Let's actually remove both of them. And let's put in the red crystal. Oh yeah, ooh hoo hoo. We get a little bit of a, ooh, way more puzzly here. Way more puzzly. Love to see it. Now, like I said, these were of course in the in the demo, but it doesn't necessarily remember, or me and I remember solutions. So what we're going to do here is we'll push this one down. 
and we'll move this one. It's so Pokemon with the ice cave stuff. Right. And then what we can do here is push this one all the way through. And then that one's got to stay on the blue. So what we'll do is this. Yeah, because we need the two, we need the blocks on there. That one can't move. Uh, hang on. Yeah, no matter what, if we do this, it's going to go all the way across. So it doesn't really matter on that. We need, basically, we need to be, well, I guess what we could do, blue needs to be removed. So let's remove the blue. And then that can go down here, down here. That removes the white. And then we can send this one, boom, to the other side. Perfect. And then I think the way that we want to handle this one is send this one up here. So it's also ready to go. And then once we have the two over there, it'll be fine. Um, and then this is green. So I think we just send this one back across. Yeah, easy. We just send this one back over there. Green will go up, that's fine. We'll push that one off. Perfect. And then we'll just go on this side because we can go through those barriers. Push it. Um, yeah, this is fine. Then blue will be able to go. We can push that baby through. Look at that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I that looks like that's all that we can get. I don't see anything. We can also jump off here to go onto the other side, but that, like I said, not that it matters. Ah, looks like we needed to go through there anyways to get the third the the third light to admit. So before we do all three of these crystals, let's go ahead and do the different combinations then of what we can do with red. So this one is like a, that this is blue and red. I love the background. I don't, I like it just, I feel I do say that in every darn episode, don't I? Uh, it's just so cool. Can't go up there this way first. That makes... Oh, beautiful. Jump up here. Is this a fishing spot? Haunted Creek. Hey! Hey! Right here in the well! Huh? I lost my watch in the lake, and a fish swallowed it. Would you mind catching it for me? It ought to be glowing. Um, okay. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, nope, nope. Perfect catch. Look, uh, wow. Look, at, we got his watch right away. You caught a golden watch. Wait, <laughs> do I get the fish, though? There's only lunar trout in here, so... All right. And now we can just... Did you find my watch? Yeah. That is the spot. Thank you very much, my friend. Here's a little something for your trouble. Oh. No response. Um, okay. Thanks, random per Mage Knight armor. Oh, who's a Mage Knight? Definitely Zale, right? Yeah. Huge magic defense on that. And I guess she probably would benefit the most from it. Nah, let's give it to him. A ceremonial robe with magic properties. He, she feels a lot more like, like I'm fighting you physically. Whereas he feels a lot more magic based. So I like the idea of him having higher magic. Haunted Creek. What a cool, what a cool thing. So that's an extra item that we wouldn't be able to get if we didn't do this combination. No need. It's not, uh, you know, something that you have to do to complete this puzzle. Dope. 
Great, I guess this is purple. Is that purple? It kind of looks like a pink, but maybe that's just my screen settings. All right, and then we'll switch this one for the green. Perfect, so we're going to yellow. Hmm. Oh no, why did you hit me? I You just shouldn't have hit me, you jerk. Hey, maybe I'll get lucky and they'll focus Zale here. I did not, in fact, get lucky. <laughs> Jerks. There we go. Easy fight, 228 XP. Definitely feel like these enemies are giving us a lot more XP than... Oh. So this is showing us the way to go. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh, the tulip. I know how to break the tulip, y'all. We have to break the lock, and then that will allow us to kill it. All right. Played that fight. Not great. But we were able to get it done. 132 XP, and we got some... Ooh, okay. So go that side and over. Should be pretty easy. I like how these are telling you which platforms are safe. And then that one goes up. How are we doing? Good? All right. Oh, look at that. We're the best. We're the best. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. We are. Not you. Me. I'm, the, I'm the, sorry. I'm the best. <laughs> not, not we. And we get another rainbow conch. We're finding so many of those. So many of those. I wonder what that was in the demo, because I don't think it was a rainbow conch. I don't think those were shown off yet. All right. Nice. And I think, friends, that, yeah, this one showed us where we could go. And if you were to jump off, it will... I'll put you on top there. Not that that's a big deal, but... I think that is all of the combinations we can do, except for the final combination. So let's go ahead and rest here. All right, no real reason to set up a camp there because there's no new dialogue. Uh, but saving is probably a good a good thing to do here. All right, so now we just put in the blue crystal, and that should be all of the... Right, we did red by itself, we did red with green, and we did red with purple. So now we have just this one, which creates a white portal. That's right. All right. Huh? Hello? Anybody out there? Be careful, Garl. We don't know what to expect here. I found something. What is that? Ugh, maybe the coin is in there. Wait. Feels powerful. Get ready. Oh, yeah. That's the coin, all right. Being protected by some type of guardian here, we have the chromatic apparition. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with a big old sunball to its face here. Boosting would probably be a better idea to get an early boost, but there we go. 82 damage. It is weak, it looks like, to magic. So let's see what we can get with a big old moonerang to its face. Oh, 76 damage. Oh no, we're all getting fisted. Let's go ahead and see if physical damage does anything. It resists physical, so we do want, looks like we do want magic damage as much as possible. Let's go ahead and build up some boost in case we get a big lock coming up. Shape shifts. Ah, I bet you this time it is weak to bet you this time it is weak to physical attacks. Let's find out. Sure is. So when it's in that form, we physically attack. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, you know, I don't want to boost just in case we need it. 
36 damage out of Garl. There we go. This is why we saved the boost, my friends. We are going to use... We have four turns to attack on... All right, so let's go ahead and right away use Moonerang. We do want to break that Tulip. It just does too much damage. Oops. There we go. Garl's going to use a... Big. There we go. And our boy Zale... Zale, friends, let's do one, just one boost from Zale here. Just one boost. There we go. Perfect. Valir getting some big damage in. Let's go ahead and big boost on Garl here. Oh, 60 damage out of Garl. That's what I'm talking about. We do have some big damage that we can do. We're going to wait just a bit. Wait for those combos. Oops. Oh, yeah. We're beating this thing up. No problem. Oh, my God. That did so much damage. All right. Looking at you, girl, for a big nourish. Thirty-two damage. Wait for it to go back into its weak to magic. Ooh, 16. Oh no, girl! Girl got knocked out in one attack there. I'm gonna go ahead and attack here. And we get some big attacks in only one turn to try to see what we can do. It's looking like we're going to use. Let's go ahead and use a big boost from Valor. Able to break a little bit of that. Arcane Singularity. As long as no one dies here. Woo. Shape shifted back. We're gonna go ahead and as soon as as soon as our boy gets up there, we're gonna big mending light. Use magic now. 80 damage. He's back up. We're going to use, uh... Forgot about Bash Drop, y'all. Actually, why don't we do... We don't have any boost, but... Let's Moon Ring here. We don't need to... We actually don't need to use Mending Light. Stretch quest trophy done. Goodbye, chromatic apparition. That was... That felt a lot easier than it did in the demo. 1,200 experience gained, and we get... Look, that's gotta be the coin we need. Got coin of On Death Accord. All right, there's our ticket to Wraith Island. Nice. If the pirates stick by their word. Ahoy! You got the coin! A job well done! Let's go back to Brisk. The captain will be waiting. Nice. And I guess that's all we can do. What if we head back in here? I was just checking. Can we, like, take these crystals now? Yes. 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 Now they're gonna be in our inventory forever. Just in case. <laughs> just in case we need more crystals. I don't know. You never know. I believe that's everything. We went into blue solo. We went into green solo. We went into red solo. We went into yellow. We went into purple. We went into the all three together. So there's no other combinations we can do there. I believe that is all of it. Cool. So we are done with the abandoned lab. Gnarly. Sweet. Hi. Cool. Do we have any... We didn't get any other equipment or anything. Nothing from that boss. We are good to go. Oh, we're kicking butt. We're cruising through the game now. Cruising. Okay, not, not real. Hopefully not. Back to the port town of Brisk we go.
so cool. Be safe out there. You too. Thank you. That was nice of them. Looks like the signposts are actually gone now. The pirates have gathered at the dock. Surely this means that they're leaving. Yeah, we got all, all of that over there. I don't think there's anything over here, but just in case. Nope. You never know, team. You never know. I think because they stopped us from being able to do that before because of the... They had the fences there. How much gold do we actually have? 489. Grandpa says we can go look at the boats later. This vacation is the best. Oh, can I not talk to the grandpa? Oh, I can't. Nothing I love more than spending time with my grandkid. What a blessing. Ah, there they are. There they are. I should probably head home soon. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Let's go into this hidden market real quick. We have 489 golds. We're not going to be able to buy the Eye of Yamara yet. 888 gold for that sucker. That is going to be something that... I don't see that happening. But I do want to grab these relics because, like I said, I do want to make sure that we have all the relics. So there we go. That's our gold gone. We're done. We have no golds. And the relics that we just got, let's check them out. So Tome of Knowledge, I actually don't really want on right now. I don't know why it automatically puts it on. That's interesting. Uh, tome containing techniques to optimize one's learning ability and general growth increases XP gained by 20%. We don't want that on right now. Six cents we saw already. Adamant Shard we saw as well. Double Edge increases damage in certain situations. Increases enemy defense bonus while casting. Decreases enemy defense while not casting. Ah, okay. That one's interesting. I can, I can see that one being used. Dubious Dare. For those who prefer grittier combat, demanding more strategy and timing skill. Increases damage taken by 40%. That's fun. That's fun too. Again, these relics don't necessarily feel, they really all, they all feel right now like accessibility options and not net, or just like ways to fundamentally change the game, not just like equipment things. So I think for the most part, I'm gonna keep leaning towards not having those equipped. But I do wanna collect them all. I don't know actually off the top of my head if there's a trophy for all of the relics, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is. Can't wait to set sail. I believe that's the coin. Captain will be delighted. Well, y'all gone and done it. Stunning performance, pals. I am officially naming all you members of our crew. No way! So we're real pirates? We fulfilled our end of the deal. Will you take us to Wraith Island now? Aye, and this crew of mate to need is a quest indeed. Bazaar! Your boat is huge. I can't wait to see the kitchen. Hold your horses, son. That there ain't that there ship ain't ours. No, no, no. We be right this way. What? What? Ex excuse me. The Oakum Skiff ain't much to look at, but it'll get you across the shallow mire to Wraith Island, all right. Are you? Just gotta stick to that canal. No open sea for us till we get a proper vessel. Uh. So, unless y'all have some unfinished business, we can set sail for Wraith Island right now. Yo, I'm ready. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, unbelievable. The humor in this game, y'all, is top-notch. Taking the sunlight, pals, I hear Wraith Island is real gloomy-like. Yeah, a good old soul-based dweller will do that. Huh. Nothing your solstice folks can't fix, of course. Well, at least I hope so. Wouldn't want to end up moving there permanently. What do you mean? Hmm. Don't you know about the one-way trip thing? Well, here's another one y'all never heard before. No one that's been Wraith to Island, that's been to Wraith Island has ever returned. <laughs> Why not? Keenathan? Uh, stories say that the Dweller of Woe has mind control powers. After setting foot on Wraith Island, people are cursed to remain there for the rest of their lives. And life on Wraith Island is 
live day by day, for no one knows who the dweller will prey on next. Prey? These things feed, ain't you heard? Aye, every so often the dweller sings with her cursed voice, compelling one of the denizens of Wraith Island to sleepwalk into her lair, never to return. Ugh, okay, that's... But why would people want to even go there, then? Beats me. Curiosity, boredom, a need to escape. You'll get to ask soon enough. Did you guys know about all this? Don't worry, Garl. It's what we've been trained for. And the headmaster is in charge of the mission. He's dealt with many dwellers before. Erlina and Burgraves will be there too, and they're much stronger than us. Oh, they'll be there? Whoa. I'm sure you can handle it. It's just kind of gives me the creeps. The eclipse makes the dwellers weak to our magic. Everything will be fine. And don't forget, it's the last dweller. Pretty surreal to think we'll be the ones to see the end of it all after centuries of struggle. means you'll be free from duty. We could travel the world! Ahoy, Captain. Seems the sun be setting. Don't you blink now, or you'll miss it. Huh? Behold, the legendary ghost ship that appears at dusk, the Vesper Time! Wait a minute. Did you trick us? That's why they wanted the vessel. If they didn't have a ship. This Vesper team. Is that Hortense or the captain? Uh-oh. No one, don't look at that. Oh, we're not going there. Quite the prize. The Vespertine will be ours one day, or my name is not Kenathan. I love him so much. All in due time, mateys. For now, we're about to hit the docks. Look alive, embrace yourselves. Well, obviously the game isn't this short, so... What's gonna happen next? Ooh, the great archives with the archivist guy. By overcoming the dead wizard's illusions, our heroes have secured passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. In this place where the night is everlasting and the dead still live, they brace themselves to fight the last known dweller. While evil forces prepare to play their hand, fear is set to strike very close to home. Hmm. This place is gloomy. All part of the course. Curse around here. Headmaster Moraine calls it the Night Shroud. It's an old Fleshmancer curse that prevents any sunlight from reaching the island. Uh, so even after you defeat the Dweller... Yeah, there ain't no fix in that one. But hey, it's a living. Speaking of which, the town of Lucent should be just ahead. We'll be kicking it back at the local tavern. Can't leave till you take care of business, anyway. Yolanda, why come here with us if you knew how dangerous it was? Mm, we be trusting the captain. Seems the captain be trusting y'all. If our adventure is to end here, I say so be it. We will have remained loyal to the end and seen that much more of the world. Right on, Kenathan. <laughs> hey, you should come see us at the end. We'll be playing some music. You play music? Aye, Captain wants us to practice cheering up the places we visit. Hmm. Well, onwards then. All right, goodbye, pirate crew. Also, Teeks didn't come with us, and I'm sad about that. Altrin's invitation sounds fun. How about we go to the inn and take it easy for a little while? It's not like there's anything more you can do until the others get here. I suppose we did arrive early. 
Ah, uh, don't feel bad. You've accomplished so much already. Plus, this cleansing thing, fighting a dweller must be a pretty big deal. Might as well be fully rested, don't you think? I guess we could take a short break. All right, let's make for Lucent. An we get another town already? That's awesome. Get some onions right out of the gate. Is that onions or garlic? Ooh, cool. Oh, this is, this is spooky. Yeah, pretty sure that was onions. No garlic here. That would be fun, though. Ah, and we're, right away, we're met with a camp and a save point. You love to see it. Let's go ahead and set up camp here. Oh, Teeks is with us. She must have been in our cargo, and I just, I didn't look. Want to hear a story? You don't have any for us, but... We should find that tavern Valtteri was talking about. I want to see them play. The plan worked out pretty good in the end. I'd say... All right. Well, friends, we are going to end our episode for the day right here. Thank you so much for watching another Sea of Stars episode. In the next one, we'll head to Lucent and maybe even continue exploring Wraith Island, depending on how big this area is. Who knows? Hey, let me know in the comments below how much you're enjoying this series. Do you have a favorite character so far? I am uh, I'm kind of thinking Garl might be my favorite. I really like him. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And remember... Never give up, never surrender to the Vesper team. Oh, and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premiere. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Never give up, never surrender. Bye.